That's a racial king. He's the king of Israel. That's a national king. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. Now that's my king. David said the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament show his handiwork. My king is the only one whom there are no means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of a shore of supplies. No barriers can hinder him from pouring out his blessing. My king is enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's internally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. That's my king. He's God's son. He's the sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He stands alone in himself. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's supreme. He's preeminent. He's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the supreme problem in high criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of Greek theology. He's the carnal necessity of spiritual religion. That's my king. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you choose to call him. He's the only one able to supply all our needs simultaneously. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He's strong, God, and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleanses the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feeble, he blesses the young, he serves the unfortunate, he regards the age, he rewards the diligent, he beautifies the meek. My king is the key of knowledge, he's the wellspring of wisdom, he's the doorway of deliverance, he's the pathway of peace, he's the roadway of righteousness, he's the highway of holiness, he's the gateway of glory, he's the master of the mighty, he's a captain of the conquerors, he's the head of the heroes, he's the leader of the legislators, he's the overseer of the overcomers, he's the governor of governors, he's the prince of princes, he's the king of kings, and he's the lord of lords, that's my king, yes, that is my king. His office is manifold, his promise is sure, his light is matchless, his goodness is limitless, his mercy is everlasting, his love it never changes, his word is enough, his grace is sufficient, his reign is righteous, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Well, I wish I could describe him to you, but he's indescribable. He's Irresistible. I'm coming to tell you the heavens of heavens cannot contain him, let alone a man explain him. You can't get him out of your mind. You can't get him off of your hands. You can't outlive him and you can't live without him. The Pharisees couldn't even stand him, but they found out they couldn't even stop him. Pilate couldn't even find a fault in him. The witnesses couldn't get their testimonies to agree. Herod couldn't even kill him. Death couldn't handle him and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Always has been and he always will be. I'm talking about how he had no predecessor and he had no successor. There was nobody before him and there'll be nobody after him. You can't impeach him. He's not going to resign. That's my king. Yes, that is my king. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. All the power belongs to my king. All the glory belongs to my king. Try to get prestige and honor and glorify ourselves, but the glory is all his. Yes, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever. That's my king. Yes. That's my king.